Hi all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ollie and this is Simply Stitchy. Now one of the first things that people ask me as soon as they decide that they want to take up sewing and invest in a sewing machine, which way are you supposed to put the needle in? In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to tell which way you can put one of these into your machine and which way you thread it. Follow me in. If you're buying a sewing machine new you'll probably find it's already got a needle in it and you'll, you'll probably also find that the sewing machine manufacturer has put some spare needles in for you because they're going to know at some point you are going to have to change that needle. Now obviously the two easiest ways of working out which way your needle is supposed to go is number one take a note when you take it out which way it was in and number two always check your manual and that will tell you which way around your needle goes but I'm going to show you how you can tell if you don't have a manual or if your machine didn't have a needle in it when you got it and that is probably more likely if you buy your machine second hand so what we've got here is a sewing machine needle and this is it in close-up now what you'll notice first of all with your sewing machine needle is right at the top this is the bit that goes into the machine and this is the pointy bit that goes through the fabric you'll notice that you've got a rounded edge and you've got a flat edge I hope that's coming up okay on the camera oops sorry about that now, having the two different sides the round side and the flat edge that's your first clue to tell you how to put the sewing machine needle into your machine. I need you to hold on to that fact for a minute and we'll come back to it. Different sewing machines, different manufacturers, different models don't all have a needle fitting in exactly the same way. You've got machines that thread from left to right. Grandma for instance goes from left to right whereas the Singer Simple goes from front to back and if you've got quite a few machines like me it can be easy to forget which machines go which way so I'm going to show you the tricks that I use to remember which way to put the needle in so I don't have to keep going to find the manual your first clue is this the thread guide on the top of the needle bar and the way it holds the thread now on grandma I'll just move this thread a little bit. The thread guide holds the thread on the left of the needle, which tells you that the needle threads from this side left to right. The thread guide on the Singer Simple here holds the thread to the front. So this one threads from front to back. This is a close-up of the needle bar on Roger Wilco, my Singer 15K80. There's the needle guide. And as you can see, it goes around to the left. So this machine threads from left to right. This is Jerome. And if you take a look at the needle guide on the top of his needle bar it's on the front which means he threads from front to back. So now you know which way you're supposed to thread the needle how do you know which way to put the needle in the actual machine? You remember at the start of the video I asked you to remember the fact that one side is rounded and one side is flat? We're going to find out why that is now Unlike sewing machines, sewing machine needles all work the same way and the, the key is remembering that the thread always goes through the eye of the needle with the flat part of the needle facing away. So on this needle for instance the flat side is here so you'd thread it from this side. So you always thread the sewing machine needle through the rounded side and out through the flat. So the next thing that we need to know, knowing how the sewing machine needle works, is which way around to put it in the machine. Come on. 
I'll bring you in a bit closer. Back with Grandma. We've already found out that because the thread guide is on the left of the machine, she threads from left to right. So what you need to remember with the needle is now that we know that the needle threads through from the rounded side to the flat, that means you put the needle in with the flat side facing the pillar. So in this case it's flat side to the right of the machine. If we nip across to Jerome, his thread guide is facing to the front, it'll hold the thread to the front, so he threads from front to back. Remember the key with the needle? You always thread the sewing machine needle with the thread going through the rounded side and coming out the flat side. So as Jerome threads from front to back, his needle needs to go in with the flat part facing the back. So with this machine, it's flat to back. So those are the tips that I use to remind me when I'm using different machines, which way to put the needle in and which way to thread it. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up because that helps it spread across YouTube so other people can pick up on these hints and tips. And why not check out some of the other videos I've got on my channel at the minute. Uh, coming up in these links any minute now or you could even use the links that I've got in the description box below whatever video you go and check out next I hope to see you back for the next one and I'd be tickled pink if you actually subscribe to the channel too in the meantime whatever you're sewing whatever you're sewing it with embrace your creativity and have fun thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now